I would continue with the second part of the presentation, preparing for oral defense. All right. So what are the essence okay, of a thesis defense? Uh, number one, of course, is on how well is your accomplishment, what you have accomplished given two years, three years, four years of your study. Uh, is there enough original work and innovation in, in your work? Or, or is your work uh, is more like engineering work okay, rather than academics? Uh, does the candidate show scientific maturity? Okay, uh, meaning that not only you are well versed with your area of research, but whether or not you have uh, knowledge, okay, uh, expected uh, at your level in the, your specific area of work. Uh, is there an extensive amount of work? So these are basically the essence. The first thing that you have to do is to do a lot of knowledge sharing. All right. So as before you write your thesis, you write papers. And you know that writing, in between writing papers and between the iterations, meaning that the process when you are writing, it reveals gaps in your work that, that are not noticed before. The same case when you do a lot of knowledge sharing. So knowledge sharing uh, allow you, okay, to number one, structure your thoughts you would know how you should present your points okay which one should come first which one should come next the sequence of it the, the structure of your thoughts and then depending also on audience okay you will have the ability to adjust the depth of your presentation should you go deep should you now highlight this uh, a little bit deeper it depends on how much time you have also if you are just given five minutes to present, so you know the, the the scope of your presentation and the depth, okay. And if you're presenting, for example, to be reviewed by the professors, okay, you you know, okay, how much detail you need to put in your presentation. So doing a lot of knowledge sharing actually helps a lot, okay. And at the same time, it improves confidence, okay, as making a good presentation is an acquired knowledge okay now another important aspect before you defend your your work is to get peer reviews okay uh, an MPhil and PhD candidate must publish so this is the best way for 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 candidates to validate their research works so that's why you have to send okay to good publications or top publications because most issues raised by reviewers would be similar to the issues raised by the examiners. But if you are just publishing just to get numbers, you will get, just get numbers. Okay, so those numbers may or may not help you in your examinations. Uh, and also do not feel overconfident, okay, when having many publications from your thesis works. Okay, because what is examining in the viva is the thesis, not the papers okay so the papers are just supporting actors they are not the main actors the main actors are still the thesis okay so you you cannot say that oh but my paper is published in two q1 q1 journals okay then the question then the un potential answer if i'm the examiner so what okay so meaning that so you need to be able to defend your thesis properly the role of the papers is to support okay that your work has been peer reviewed, okay, and it is accepted, okay, basically accepted by your peers. Now, the next thing that you have to do, okay, is to prepare good slides. All right, so before coming to the Viva, okay, uh, potentially due to the length of the thesis and also the time that uh, the examiners has, uh, we may not be able to read the thesis as detailed as possible, okay? Uh, because writing, thes uh, reading thesis also is uh, time consuming for examiners. Uh, so most issues that the examiners may have with the thesis work, okay, can be answered through a good presentation, all right? So, but the purpose of this presentation is to add on 
uh, I cannot say add on. Okay, it's to 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 highlight the gist of your work. So that's why you should not change the semantic and the presentation of critical parts of the thesis, problem statements, objectives, methodology, contributions. Those are the most critical part of your thesis. If, let's say, in your thesis, you say that there are four statements, okay, for your problems, and there are three objectives, okay, in your presentation, you should have four and three also for those things. You shouldn't change, all right? So otherwise, you will you 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 will confuse, okay, and you may upset the examiners because because what they have presented is this, and then what you're presenting is the other things. Okay, it also shows that your your thesis actually was not ready to be examined because in between the submission the submission of the thesis until you present, so you have change of heart, change of mind. Okay, so you change it. So no, those things uh, have to be there. Okay, uh, in semantic and in presentation uh, as in your thesis, and then you need to put appropriate number of slides, meaning that you don't put too many slides, okay? Of course, the, the, the rule of thumb is one slide per minute. If you have 30, then uh, you should be targeting for 30 slides. But if you are a good presenter, okay, you can present very well, so you might increase it to 40, all right? So, but if it's not, so go for the safe side, okay, target for uh, 30 slides or 35. Okay, not more than that. Uh, what is, uh, you know, sad is that when you're preparing so many slides, but when you do your presentation and then with the filler, um, uh, so and so on, so you may need much longer time than what you initially expected. So the chairman may stop you. Okay, you have reached 30 minutes. Okay. So what is your last slide? So you don't want that. So you, you want to have a nice flow when you're presenting your work. And do not uh, animate unless necessary, okay? So this is talking about slide. Um, uh, and figure and table caption uh, should be in the thesis, uh, so to the citations, meaning that if you are referring to uh, paper one, okay, as reference 10 in the thesis, you should be using the same numbers. Uh, this one is to make sure that the consistency when the panel wants to refer to that reference in your thesis. The same case with figures and captions. Uh, and bottom line is do not dump the thesis as slides. Okay, so you need to you need to pick and choose, okay, highlight the best possible. So that is why also, okay, it is good if you can prepare the slide, okay, as a guide for you to write your thesis. Okay, because this one will 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 strip all those unnecessary uh, you know fillers and so on. Just highlight on the strength uh, and the focus of the thesis. Okay, uh, you need to know your examiners. Once uh, you have uh, the viva session has been set, okay, and you know who are your examiners, okay, so spend some time before the VIVA to read uh, examiner's works, all right? So this is basically, so because you want to know your examiners more, uh, which area that they have worked before, okay? So uh, how good is their work, okay? Uh, and whether their, um, their expertise is very well grounded, meaning that they are expert in their, in their Area so so that you don't try to cook up your 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 answers when you are as if like the the examiners uh, don't know much, all right. So you need to know that, all right. So and this one will also help you to estimate potential topic of question of questions, meaning that the questions that they may ask, all right. Uh, and if you want to know more, okay, you should also ask around okay so uh, you, you have worked uh, with these examiners before okay what kind of question that they usually like to ask and so on so this one at least to give you some kind of confidence okay uh, when dealing okay facing them okay in your examination all right uh, next 
is that you have to make sufficient practice before the wire pump. All right. So it takes lots of practice, lots of editing your slide, uh, showing it to different people so that you can get feedback. Okay, of uh, some typos, uh, which uh, parts need to be uh, shown first. Okay, and basically you need to know what you're presenting by heart. Okay, so that you don't read your slide. Okay, if you if you don't prepare, then typically it it, it will clearly show. Okay, during the presentation. All right. So come to the Viva session prepared. Okay. First of all, bring your thesis. Print the thesis. Don't 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 just bring your uh, soft copy of your thesis and then you scramble when the panel say, "Can you go to uh, number uh, page 43?" And then you scramble, try to open it. Okay, with the projector open. Okay, try to find where it is. Okay, so you need to bring a printed thesis, the same copy as you submitted to your examiners. Uh, also, you have to bring with you top 20 papers that support your thesis, just in case if they want to know more. Okay, I have some, uh, I have uh, disagreement. Okay, I disagree with the choice of this because uh, I feel that this this is better. If you have a good reference that become the basis of your work, okay, that clearly state or clearly reviewed the uh, benefit and disadvantage of certain techniques over the others, for example, then you bring it okay to your thesis as a supporting material. Okay, bring pen, pencil, notebook to write down questions and comments. All right, and you must be nicely dressed. Okay, nicely dressed uh, and lightly perfumed. Okay, if possible, not too strong. Okay, or not perfumed at all. At least lightly perfumed so that. Or you, you bring along uh, 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 what air refre refresh, okay, to your to the viva room, okay. Come to 30 minutes before, uh, so that you can sit there in the room, okay, looking at the walls, okay, so that you can immerse in the environment. You can, uh, you know, uh, become calm, okay. And during the session, you have to show respect, all right. If the examiners or the chairman say something, okay, do not cut. This is a cardinal sin. Okay, do not cut your examiners. Do not cut your chairman. Wait until they are done with their question. Pause for a while, only then start answering. Okay, once you cut the examiner's question one too many, okay, then, uh, you know, typically it's not a good sign. All right? So, and then when you deliver your presentation, you have to face the examiners, okay? Face the examiners, okay, when you're presenting your work. So that's why you have your laptop in front of you. So you view whatever you have, okay, in your laptop. Okay, do not, uh, you know, face the uh, projector slides and then with your back facing the examiners, okay? Uh, do not read the slides. Okay, so that's why in order for you not to read the slides, do not write full sentences in slide. Okay, but this one, of course, will make it harder because you need to practice a lot to make sure that what would come out, how you're going to describe that point. Okay, but that is the thing that you have to do. And then when you're presenting, presenting with suitable pace. You're not presenting too fast. You're not presenting too slow. You have a proper pause between slides, between points. Okay, and don't be overzealous with slide with laser pointer. Okay, do not click the laser pointer, turn it on, and then you, 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 you point. Okay, like playing the laser pointer on the screen. Okay, all right. So also don't be a flasher. Okay, if you don't want to describe, do not show. Okay, what we don't want is that you show a slide for less than five seconds and then you move to the next slide. So you don't flash. Okay, whatever you show, you have to describe. So during the Q&A session, okay, it is highly important for you to understand the questions. Number one, of course, is the etiquette. Okay. Second is that you have to understand the questions properly. If you're unsure of it, ask again. Okay. So and then in order for you to, 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 to have time, to give you time to think, 
okay just not to blurt your 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 answers just like that you write down the questions okay write down questions have two uh importance number one is that so that you have time to think okay by writing it down okay also for you to refer back okay when you want to do correction but it also allow you to show respect to examiners right so do not cut your examiners when they are questioning your work or giving commands and you would notice if the situation become a little bit tense all right you know that okay you try to answer the examiners would still disagree and so on so you need to find a way okay on how you can diffuse the tense situations okay uh, meaning that okay you you can simply say that okay i will discuss further with my supervisor uh, okay or i can get further cl clarification with you after the viva session and so on just to tense to diffuse the tense situations okay do not try to fight fire with fire okay all right so and it is also okay to say if you do not know okay especially when the questions is outside the topic of your work uh, okay but not for all questions when they ask you oh sorry i do not know. okay why you are doing using this technique sorry i do not know i have to ask my supervisor so <laughs> okay so this is not a good sign but if they say that okay i know that a similar problem okay in this area where this 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 is used okay what do you think about it can you use this solution in your work if you do not know okay just say you do not know okay so you can say that you can read further and then uh, to, to 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 discuss it with your supervisor if it's suitable you will add it in your thesis so this is a way on how you can uh, properly with respect answer questions all right other considerations, okay? Do not allow your family and friends, your community to congregate outside the Viva venue. Okay? So why I said this is that you do not know the outcome of your Viva. If, if it is a good one, it is a joyful moment, okay? You with your family, with your friends, okay, can celebrate outside the Viva room. But if the result is not good, it will amplify that. Your embarrassment and so on so so better not to allow tell them bluntly okay please do not come to my viva whatever news i will let you know something like this all right and no sweets and chocolates please okay you do not need to be you know preparing uh, something okay for the viva and then after the viva you give sweets chocolates to the panel and so on you don't need that okay we are doing it professionally uh in a way that sometimes we feel um yeah because we have cultural differences but uh in 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 uh, this part or in this country typically is that uh giving that seems like uh, we we know that you, you you feel happy if you get good result but we don't want to feel that okay uh you know uh tight okay in uh in in, in giving our deliberation for the results so yeah just never that okay all right so good luck with your thesis defense okay so if you have any further questions you can drop comments okay to this email